Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today we're going to be doing a top five, which we haven't done in about a year and a half. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, we're going to be doing the top five best Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombie maps. And there's only, I know there's only six maps, but uh, it's going to be kind of going from least favorite to most favorite. You know, I kind of I enjoy all the maps. They're not as good as some of the other maps in Black Ops 2 that I kind of like a little bit more, but it's still a, a top five that we're going to be doing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into the top five. So coming in at number five, we have none other than The Giant. Now, The Giant, it was just a really awesome map to bring back to Black Ops 3. One of the, my most hyped maps for Black Ops 3 other than Shadows of Evil was a little bit more hype, I think. But I, I was kind of, I don't know, it was a really good map. I was really I impressed by this map. It was a really great map. They brought back the Wonder Wolf. They brought back the Fly Trap Easter Egg. And you actually got the Annihilator as your gun. And it was just a really fun map to play. Probably a really, a really good ranking up map, too, in Black Ops 3. I used to play it all the time. Before Dryzen Drag came out, I'd play that shit forever. But yeah, that's number five, and yeah, I hope you guys are ready for the next one, because the next one is a pretty hyped one, too. So coming in at number four, we have Shadows of Evil, and this map is a really, it's a really awesome map, it really is. Um, I thought it was, it was a really hyped map, like, I remember all the freaking trailers that they came out with it. The prologue came out. The they even did a roller coaster, which is really awesome. That was the coolest thing. They did a roller coaster. I think it was in like a Six Flags or something in the U.S. If you live in the U.S., I think you would know that. But they made that, and it was really cool. It was like a Halloween special thing, and I, it was just really hyped. I went. I even went to the midnight release for Black Ops 3, and I remember at midnight just popping in the Shadows of Evil. It was just amazing, and it was it comes down to number four, so yeah. So coming in at number three, we have Revelations. Now, Revelations was just an awesome map that was the final DLC, and you know what, I, I, it wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, and obviously I thought that all those remakes were going to be all just separate maps, which would have been a lot cooler. But it still brought some pretty cool things. It brought the Thunder Gun back, and it brought back all these awesome maps. And it was just a really cool idea that they did. I mean, the ending was a little bit unsatisfying. It wasn't as good as everyone thought it was going to be. But it was still really cool. And this is the longest Easter egg that it took the community to figure out. It took about a week, I think, maybe even a little more. But it, it was a really hyped map, and I was I actually got a lot of views during Revelations because, well, we thought that the Wrath of the, whatever the heck they're called, the uh, the Runes, uh, we thought that that was the freaking Staffs, <laughs> so that's how I got a lot of views on that, but we thought it was that, and it really wasn't, but it still comes down to number three, but uh, Revelations was a really good map, and it deserves to be at number so coming in at number two, we have Gorod Krovi. Now Gorod Krovi was just an awesome map as well. It was a really hyped map, especially because of the damn PPSH returning guys. It was the freaking sickest thing. Dragons and freaking just Stalingrad. It was just freaking awesome. Um, it was one of the most hyped maps as well. And it was just, it really was a really good map. Um, there was the Easter egg that was actually probably one of the most difficult Easter eggs in Black Ops 3, in my opinion. It took us a while to finish, mostly because of that bomb step, but it was, it's a really fun map. Uh, I played it quite a bit. Uh, we went for high rounds a lot. I went for high rounds. And it was just a really fun map. Also to play with friends, it was just a really awesome map. The Easter egg hunt was amazing. And those cylinders, man, those took forever to figure out what it was, but we finally got it, and it brought the Easter egg, and bringing out Nikolai, and then 
ricked up and shooting all the souls into the sky. That was a really awesome thing. So yeah, it comes in at number two. Hope you guys like this map as well. It's just a really good map. So yeah, that's number two. Deserves this spot. So yeah, that's number two. So coming in at the number one spot, we have... Guess what? Guess what it is, guys? I actually almost forgot. But yeah, it is Dare Eisendrack. This one definitely deserves to be on number one. It's just a really awesome map. It, it's just awesome. This was a really hyped map as well. And it was probably my most, it's just my most favorite Black Ops 3 map. It really is. Uh, you got the bows. You got the freaking dragons. You got to feed the souls like in Mob of the Dead. You got the freaking rocket test. Panzer's return. Freaking the Easter egg was freaking boss. It was blowing up the damn moon, dude. It was awesome. And yeah, it's just a really fun map. You start out and you see the freaking rocket going into the sky. The graphics look amazing. And it's snowing and it's just really cool. You're set on a castle. The Wonderf is returned as well. And yeah, it was just a really awesome map. And it deserves to be at so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy, why not leave a like and subscribe. You guys can see more of my top fives. And I have a few top fives that I made about a year and a half ago that you guys can check out if you would like. Uh, that was before Black Ops 3 came out, and I started doing top fives a while ago. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, just leave a like, subscribe, favorite, all that awesome stuff. And yeah, I guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.